listening to the wind blow. It's cold out there this weekend. Real cold up here in the Northeast. So I figure I'd knock out a couple um, reviews. My first review in this set is going to be on a, re a new reel I got. I figured I, I got into the higher end. It's not super pricey, but it's in the it's in the three hundred dollar realm. And for what I mean, I've only fished with it one time, but from what I felt and what I experienced with it, the build quality and everything, it's it's well worth the three hundred dollars, and it'll be part of the family for a long time. And that's the whole point of buying something that's a little more expensive. If this is what you're gonna do, you take care of your stuff, it'll last. It'll just last forever. You know, you may have to repair, replace some bearings and stuff like that, but that's minimal. So what I will be reviewing today is a Maxell hybrid, size 25. And yes, I'm a lefty. And I love that these new, a lot of the new makers, they realize a lot of people are lefties. And there's a, you know there's a market for it so they're they're making them so this is the real in question it's just super nice i i would have preferred the black one but they you, you, everything's sold out right now i was lucky to get this from a local my local bait shop j and b and niantic and super light i think it's like I think it's just under 15 ounces. It's the Star Drag, big EVA grip, thumb thumb release, auto engage, you know, tension knob. It's just super smooth. I used it. I used it for one trip on my that cod video that I posted a few weeks back, and it's got like 28 pounds of max drag, which is. I mean, it's ridiculous. It really is. You're, no one's going to need 28 pounds for anything inshore and most... I mean, let's let's face it, most, most offshore stuff for that size of a reel. I mean, I don't have big hands, per se, for a six-foot guy. And I mean, it just fits in your palm. The rod that I had it paired up with is a Jigging World Black Demon and I will be doing a review on that to come up Wink. so that'll be to look forward to but all in all I mean this reel is um, it's gonna get a lot of use and I, I love it what is the reach speed on this thing? Five. is it 5-3 to 1? 5 to 1 retrieve so it's not super fast, but it's, I mean, I was fishing probably on the cod trip. Oh, and yeah, pretty sweet puzzle, right? Don't be jelly. I was fishing probably in some places 200 feet of water, and I wasn't cranking for 30 minutes. I mean, it, it got it gets it gets the line out pretty quick, and it's got the torque, you know. Big EVA grip, wasn't cold once. Everything's just super, super smooth. You can tell the build quality is just. I mean, it's you, what do you, what can you say? You get you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. And in the box, you know, it comes packaged very nice. It comes with a little, little tool, little star. It looks like a probably a T. It's a T3. You know, your little side. When you got to get up in there and throw some lube in her. And what I really like is it comes with a very nice. neoprene you know it goes right on when it's on the rod and what i like about it you can put it on with the line 
you don't have to, you know, my line running through the rod with a leader tied. Neoprene cover. It's just, you know, boat rash. You guys that have boats and stuff, just protect your stuff. I'm all about it. Protect your investments. So that's a nice little feature. And yeah, if you... If you're in the market for these guys make left-handed, right-handed, I'm not sponsored by them. I bought this. I think I paid, I think J and B, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a subpar $300 reel. I think he gave it to me for 286, which shout out to him. He hooked me up, you know, but yeah, all in all. So far, very good reel. I'll probably do another review at the end of 2021 season where we get put some miles on her, you know, just to see how she's holding up. And yeah, pretty much it. If you like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I appreciate it. You guys can follow me on my journey. The fishing journey of the Northeast and maybe who's to know if my things go good it could end up Southeast it could you know because one of these years instead of sitting inside the house with the heat on during the winter let's face it I'd rather be fishing I mean <laughs> I just I want to I want to fish all season long and there's there's places you can do it so maybe one of these days I can only you know work for it and build for it so this is one of my first of the winter review the real the Maxell hybrid big thumbs up love you guys